Hey guys, it's Cameron here. Got gaming news for you guys today. This game news is for Thursday, January 12th. Let's go ahead and get started. Seems like XCOM, the first person shooter, not the one that was recently announced, has been delayed till 2013. So, yeah, kind of sucks uh, for people that are waiting for the game. But moving on from that, it seems like a new Medal of Honor and Need for Speed are due for 2012. They'll probably be announced at E3 and be launching in fall, but we'll just wait and see. But moving on from that, it seems like uh, um, Amazon will be offering some good discounts on EA games. Um, actually... I sworn these were consoles, but I think they're just PC games, but I'm going to go ahead and mention them anyway. Um, they're going to be on different dates. Um, so, like, January 15th, you'll be able to get Alice Madness Returns for $7.50. February, uh, January 16th, Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition plus Dragon Age 2 Bundle for $11.99. January 17th, Mel of Honor, $6.99. Jan January 18th, the uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 for $6.99, January 19th, um, Dead Space 2 for $6.99, January 20th, Bulletstorm $6.99, and January 21st, Crisis 2 for $9.99. So that sounds pretty good. Like I said, I think that's just PC. I actually just saw that since I'm, you know, going down the article. I thought it was consoles, but it looks like it might be PC. But if you are willing to check it out when those deals are around, you can see if it's on PC or not. Those Games don't really appeal to me, kind of Dead Space, but I mean, I'm not willing to buy it. Or you played it, beat it, online was cool, but yeah, don't need to go buy it. But yeah, go check that out if you are interested. Um, if yeah, anyway, um, Ninja Gaiden 3 Collector's Edition has been, um, I don't want to say revealed because this was already re revealed a long time ago. Um, a picture of what it contains is out now I, of course when I say picture I'm supposed to show you guys I'm using my webcam so I actually can't do that sadly but I, I can tell you what this collector's edition comes with um, just in case you guys didn't catch the gaming news where I did tell you what it comes with or whatever <laughs> but anyway this thing comes with the game of course an art book the soundtrack, a figure set of Ryu Hayabusa in the enemy in the red robe. I don't know who he is, but yeah. And also a downloadable voucher uh, for a four-character demo of Dead Alive 5. This is only with the Collector's Edition. Now, if you if you pre-order at GameStop or Amazon, you'll get two-character um, demo for Dead Alive 5. But um, at GameStop, is different. At Amazon, is different characters. So um, if you do it at GameStop, you'll get um, Ryu Hayabusa and Hitame or Hitami. I don't really know all the names. I'm not a Dead Alive person, but I'm a little familiar with it. But if you guys know who I'm talking about, Hitami, um, yeah, that's who's going to be in the uh, part of the GameStop demo. And Amazon, you'll get Anye and Hayate. So, yeah. But like I said, if you get the closer edition, you'll get all four characters. So, pretty sweet. But moving on from that, Saints Row the 3rd will begin free DLC. Um, none really big, but it's uh, something called Cheapy D. Basically, he's going to be a gang member you could call, bring you a car, and I don't know what else he does. I guess he helps you out. Not sure, but there's a little trailer out and stuff. Seems pretty cool, but um, the way you will be getting him as DLC, 360 users you will have to download the Geeky Bowl DLC, which will cost 560 Microsoft points when it releases January 17th, or you could download the free Geeky Bowl viewer pack. Now, PS3 gamers will get him by just downloading him normally as a DLC character, and Steam users will have to find him inside a compatibility patch. So basically, there's going to be an update January 17th, it says here, and it talks about a patch. So basically I guess he's going to automatically be there with the download patch so that sounds pretty easy and cool but moving on from that Armor Core 5 release date has been revealed and will be out March 20th and in Europe March 23rd but moving on from that I have the, all the dates of the um, Xbox Live Arcade House Party I've been this is like the third time in a row I talked about these heart, um, Xbox Live House Party games, but I had the release date for all of them. I told you about Alan Wake and I Am Alive release dates, but I will mention them again. Alan Wake American Nightmare will be available February 15th. I Am Alive February 22nd. Netsis, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but February 29th. And Warp, March 7th. So, yeah.
But moving on from that, Kid Icarus Uprising will be getting a stand. I'm not sure how what's going on, but in this article it talked about at E3, um, there was a stand um, they used to play a Kid Icarus. And what the stand helps you do is actually be able to... I guess balance the 3DS so you could actually move the camera easier in the game because I, I did recently announce something but I'll get to that in a minute well not me announced but told you guys about something um, with this stand it helps you with the camera because Kid Icarus um, the way you control the camera is with the touch screen and move Icarus with the analog stick now what I announced the other day is that they are also implementing uh, implementing um, the um, uh, a 3DS Circle Pad Pro, so you actually can use the other Circle Pad as the camera and the other you know, stick to move them like you would normally think it would work that way. Now, since 3DS does not have a analog R included to the system, of course, that attachment actually comes in handy. Now, the stand seems like it's still going to be coming, I guess, if you don't want to use the Circle Pad Pro or whatever, but the stand basically just helps you hold the system and makes life easier when you're playing the game um, using a touchscreen as your you know view but um, it said at first that it seemed like it was going to be just a Japanese thing but it seems like it will also be coming to America and Europe so that's pretty cool but moving on from that there's a little rumor that um, Hitman Blood Money uh, well, it's not really a rumor. It says Hitman Blood Money has been rated for PS3, but IO, um, a developer's dodged the HD question. I got the rumor because, um, you know, it's a rumor that they are making HD collection, possibly, but um, they, they asked, is there any plans for HD remake of older games? And he answered, that's something I can't really answer. It's a good question, so most likely what happens, really, whatever with me, but, you know, for fans of the hitman series i'm pretty sure that's pretty big to them but hopefully something happens but moving on from that it has been confirmed that shadow clauses in ico will be coming to playstation network so you guys can just download it and you don't have to worry about buying it on disc even though i think that's a better decision but if you're a download person uh, that'll be coming pretty soon let me see if it says anything about it a release date i think it was set it on here um it would be $19.99 each and it will be available in an American PlayStation Store January 17th. Wow, good thing I checked, but pretty soon. But moving on from that, big news um, for people that are part of the PlayStation Plus. Um, the Starhawk public beta will be again next week for pl only PlayStation Plus members, so that's pretty awesome. Moving on from that. Sony has revealed a 24-inch 3D display, and it is glasses-free. I'm guessing this is CES news. Actually, does not say, but it says that um, yeah, the it's not a 3D display. It's actually a 3D free, 24-inch uh, 3D free 3D TV. So that's pretty cool. But there's also another size, a 46-inch LCD that goes up to 4k resolution which was a new resolution that sony announced at their ces um, um press note or whatever i think that's a new resolution i don't know but they talked a lot about it like it's really big so that's pretty cool and then the 24 inch is actually just going to be capable of 1080p now there has not been price or re um, release date been there's no price or release date yet but they'll probably reveal it later on um, throughout the um, year but pretty sure they're gonna cost a lot so I'm, better, I'm not gonna really look forward to getting one this year unless they're actually reasonable but doubt it but moving on from that PlayStation Vita this 3G carrier is locked says AT&T so if you're hoping there's some type of way or whatever way um, to get Verizon or Sprint or your you know preferred um, mobile carrier to um, use 3G on um, your PlayStation Vita when it comes out. Uh, seems like it's um, carry a lot. Um, at least that's AT&T says. Hopefully uh, something happens where um, it could go to other carriers. Um, I don't know. I used to have AT&T but I didn't have internet at the time to say, oh this internet's horrible. You know, I just text and 
call that's time now. I have Verizon. I think it's pretty cool. Now I hear really bad things about AT&T. Um, I am getting a 3G model of the Vita. It's actually 3G Wi-Fi model, the first edition model to be exact. And I am going to try AT&T for two months, uh, see what's so bad about it. I'm pretty... I, I know it's bad, but you know, I want to experience 3G and I mean, kind of have no choice but to use AT&T, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, more with Vita stuff. I might mention this uh, in past game news, but I uh, just want to let you guys know, just in case you didn't know, when you get a PlayStation Vita, at least in North America and I guess Europe too, you'll be getting free AR cards bundled with the system and you'll be able to play f uh, free games and stuff I guess you have to download them on PlayStation Network I'm not sure if they're going to be on the um, live area um, I think that's the name of the menu I don't know the main menu of the Vita not sure if they're going to be pre-installed or anything but I'm mean, pretty cool how um, if you're not going to already have a game on your system um, hopefully they're pre-installed and stuff like that doubt it you're gonna need a memory card so um, we'll just see what happens but moving on from that has been said that FIFA soccer on the Vita is not a light port it includes a full single player experience and that's why I like to hear I don't want these console games to be ports on Vita I want them to be full on console like experiences on the portable but taking advantage of the Vita features like touchscreen, touchpad on the back, and cameras, augmented reality, you know, all that great stuff. I mean, I want them to actually make portable gaming worth it again. Well, I'm not going to say again, just worth it, because portable gaming has never really been worth it to me, depending on the game. There's, you know, the majority of games that have been on consoles, and they come to Vita, oh, well, not Vita, just portable systems in general, they really suck, so... You know, if it's on console and it comes to the portable, it's pretty much the same game. If you you know what I mean. But getting off topic here, next news, kind of bad news. Um, a little skeptical about it, but um, anyway, no online matches will be in Modern Nation Racers Road Trip. Um, as you guys know, Modern Nation Racers for the PS3 online was a key component of the game. Um, and you won't be able to play online, have multiplayer matches, racing people, um, even though the PSP version did. It's not coming to Vita at this time around, but you'll still be able to share tracks and just share content with the world and all that stuff. But um, I'm still going to get the game. It's only 30 bucks, so that's still not bad. But last news I got for you guys today. The game Ruin, the game that was announced for Vita and PS3 back at E3, very popular RPG from what I hear. I'm not really interested in the game, but you guys might be happy to hear, well, may be interested to hear that it's not going to be called Lair anymore. It is now going to be officially called Warrior's Lair. So, yeah, and you actually could go to PlayStation.com, try to look for Lair, and you'll see Warrior's Lair. So, yeah, but that's actually all the gaming news I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy um, this gaming news. 13 minutes, eh, whatever. But thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Please leave feedback so I can make my videos better and, you know, just get more people to watch. Just, you know, have a better, um, informing I don't know you guys know what I mean I just want to be better at what I do and satisfy your gaming needs but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go hope you guys enjoyed this gaming news thanks again for the support and I'll chat with you guys later see ya